But again, I want to emphasize that by the time this matter was raised in social media, we as government of Zimbabwe, because the matter had been raised by His Excellency in cabinet, and directives given to the former Minister of Health and my minister, and also the instructions for me as the accounting officer to say this is how we are now going to manage. We were already taking corrective action. But coming back to your question, please. There is no financial loss to Zimbabwe on that contract. None at all. No, none at all. There's no financial loss. On the basis of the information that has been translated to us because of the nature of how the contract was designed. The contract was designed in such a way that a payment could only be effected upon advanced delivery of drugs and medicines into Zimbabwe, of the value that we would then pay. So drugs and medicines, right, to the tune of two million, were delivered, and an amount of two million was paid. And I do not know where everyone who talks about a 60 million fraud, 50 million corruption, where they get the 60 million for, right? So if, if, if someone illegally tries to sign a contract, why would someone then come and say there's a contract that has been signed when the contract is illegal and it's been cut out? Why, why, why does it become part of a narrative? So government of Zimbabwe did sign a contract of 20 million illegally. And that is it. We have no other legal contract that we signed. So this amount of 60 million is a lie. We, we never ever at any given in time as government of Zimbabwe had a valid contract worth 60 million with this particular supplier. Never. Right. But drugs worth $2 million were delivered and paid for. Drugs worth $2 million were delivered mm -hmm. and $2 million was paid, right. but there were some complications in terms of the normal know your customer, anti-money laundering rule regulation. And even as we speak today, that money is not being transferred to the supplier. And there are ongoing processes to see how it can be managed. It might end up with the supplier. It might even come back to us. And we might then have to engage the supplier in terms of our contract, the first one only, the 20 million. Yeah. So, 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 so let me make it very clear. There is no $60 million contract to talk about. And, and, and you are also uh, emphasizing that there was no financial prejudice. To the no, there is no financial prejudice. Mm -hmm. and, and I speak as the Secretary to Treasury of Zimbabwe is mandated by the Public Finance Management Act to manage and control the finances of this country. So I can categorically state that there is no prejudice to the country. 